Hello and welcome to Parcel. In this video, we will represent the new update and how does it work. First of all, you will have to put the username and the password in order to log in. Now we will see the dashboard, the pending orders, cancelled orders, and success. So, first of all, we will go to a success order. Go to the ID to click. And we can see the new feature, which is rating the driver. So, click on rate the driver. And let us know how your experience was. Good, is it bad? Anything you can just write here and submit, and we will see. Now we can go back to the dashboard and request a driver. So select the date, take the pickup address, it's automatically here, but you can select it if you want to change. The cash to be collected from the customer and the customer's block. Now we can see the estimated delivery price, and we can also add additional information of the customer like phone number, flat, building, and if there was any additional special note, you can just write it here and request the driver. However, it's, it's an instant delivery now. We want the driver to come now, so we'll put an instant delivery and request a driver. You can see done, and the driver is on the way. Okay. So now the driver is on the way. The driver is already assigned. We will click on the ID. Now we can see the tracking link. You can open the tracking link and the track where the driver is. So the driver is coming on the way. He is three minutes away. And we can share the link with our customers. Now we will go to the task ID and we will cancel it. Are you sure that you want to cancel it? Yes. Task is canceled. In the overview page, we will see the delivered orders and the collected cash from those orders from the period of 7 days, 8th of November until 14th of November. Then we will go to the business locations. In the business locations, we will be able to add a new location to our application. So we write the application as uh, ordinary location as parcel new location. We can name it what, whatever we want. Then the flat, the building number, the road, and the block. And if there is any special landmark like uh, Abdul Rasul building for hour, we can just write it here. And we can set it as a, the default location and then add location. Another function is adding by the map. We can just move the cursor and select the location. When you select it, if it was not accurate enough, you can just add it by yourself manually and done. Then add location. When we click Add Location, I'll make it as default. We will go to the dashboard. Now it's our backup address here. Now we will go to the business information. In the business information, we will see the email. If you want to change your email, you must send us an email or contact our operation to request an email change request. But for the mobile, you can just change the mobile and it will be updated immediately. Then just submit. That's all for the update. We hope that you like it. And if you have any suggestions, just send it to us. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.